We have a Humminbird 597 CIHD in front of us. Let's take a look at the setup options. Hit the menu button twice. Use the thumb pad to scroll over to setup, which is this wrench and a screwdriver. There's two modes. There's user mode normal and advanced. When we choose advanced, it gives us a lot more options and we'll look at that one next. But first, in normal mode, we could change our depth units from fathoms to feet, our distance to nautical miles to statute miles, our speed, knots or miles per hour, user mode, we can reset our trip log through here, restore factory defaults, turn on or off the sounder. We could control which sounds we hear, we could have alarms only or no sounds. We have screen snapshot. When you have a memory card in the unit, you could save screenshots. Let's take a look at the options in advanced mode. So in advanced mode, we could show our demo balloons. They're little balloons that come up with information on each screen. Our depth is the same. Units should be the same. Select readouts, readout one, we could add temperature, time, date time, trip log, voltage, water speed. And the actual layout is right here, so you know which one you're changing. So if you want to change one of these ones down here, just scroll way down to one of these and you could change it. We'll hit exit to go back. We have our depth offset we could change, auxiliary temp offset, temp offset, speed calibration. We could change our local time zone through here, daylight savings time on or off. We could even adjust our position format between various options of latitude and longitude. Our digits format, enemy output, we could have that on or off. And that was the difference between normal and advanced setups. To learn more about the Hummingbird series, visit GPS City.